can you tell me what colors do you see? I see amber, I see green, I see cyan, which is the bluish. Hi guys, on the ground in Taipei. Now, one of the things I get also asked about a lot is uh, color blindness. People who have uh, difficulty distinguishing certain colors, can they still fly? And what are the issues involved with being colorblind? It's a real issue and I take no jokes about it because it's affecting people's lives and there's lots of people that want to become pilots and they're worried about their slight color blindness or just their difficulty in distinguishing certain colors. So let's have a look at what sort of colors we have on the flight deck that you could be looking at that might affect your ability to distinguish different colors. So let's have a look. So this is the aeroplane at rest. As you can see there, we've got magenta, we've got green, we've got cyan. We obviously have black there and uh, we have uh, the amber, like the brake source selector, that's amber as well. So on here, if I could do the recall, we have the standard amber color for ICAST messages. You have green for gear down, then you've got cyan, which is bluish color, is cyan. And then you've got the green there on the step trim, or green there. You also have, as I said, the magenta again, I'll show you that. So, there's some colors that I just showed you. I'll show you what's on the FMS as well. So on the FMS, ICAS, as you can see, has mainly white and the cyan color. FMS has that. And if we go to the legs page, mostly it's magenta and white on the FMS. Over here at the back, you could have those. And then if I do a lights test, up here is an indicator lights test. It brings up mostly those colors, but you've also got red, like for the uh, main deck cargo, forward and aft in the main deck, and lower forward and aft. See that? So you could have those colors. So essentially you're looking at those sort of colors, cyan, which is bluish, green, you've got amber, you've got red, you've got the black, you've got the uh, magenta as well, which is mostly on the flight instruments is the magenta. And things like uh, a vital flight instrument, like the primary flight display, the PFD. Let's have a look. On the PFD, you have the flight director here, indicated by the magenta, colored flight director pitch and roll bar over here which is the same color as you have here as in magenta so those are the sort of colors you're looking to be able to distinguish when you're flying an aeroplane and um, there's sort of there's all these eye tests and by no means a doctor but as I said it's a serious issue for a lot of people and I would suggest you go and see a, a licensed air, air crew medical examiner who will know what the limits are for each country, whatever country you're in. They'll know exactly what you need and they'll give you, they'll be able to give you advice. Different airlines also accept different standards. So it, it also depends on the degree of your color blindness uh, to see if it will uh, affect your ability to become a pilot and fly in an airline. But. Let's say you couldn't and you, you're, you've got severe color blindness. There are other professions within the aviation industry, aircraft maintenance engineering, air traffic control. Uh, you could be a flight attendant. You could be, there's so many, you know, uh, engineering side, the mechanics, all that. There's a lot of stuff within the aviation sector that you could put your abilities to if indeed they tell you your eyesight is insufficient for you to become a pilot. So don't be disheartened, just go for it and see what you can. But see a licensed aircraft medical examiner first, air crew medical examiners, sorry, and uh, see what they say, because each country is different. Later, good luck.